Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today I'm reacting to Someone's Daughter by Ginger. And man, you guys know Ginger. I don't know them as well. I've only reacted to Vortex and Pisces. Both of those songs were out of this world. They were mind-bending. I mean, across the board, the rhythm was unique. The melodies were unique. The song structure was unique. The vocal choices and their stylings were unique. I mean, I haven't heard music quite like this before. I would say Ginger is very genre defying as well as genre defining because they're creating their own sound, right? You can just pretty much put Ginger in a class of their own. You can't really label them uh, with any of the other existing buckets. So I just like Ginger a lot. They really make me think about the music that I'm listening to and I'm probably going to do a poor job at it, but I'm excited to get into it all the same. I hope you are as well. If you enjoy my reaction and want to see more from me, Hit that subscribe button, it does help out a lot. And without further ado, let's get into it. You teach me how to be a man. Ooh. I am someone's daughter. Wow. The bear, the warrior, was set for me. Falsetto. I mean, uh, what can I say? The the note choices are so out there for me. I can't tell what scale they belong to. I mean, we're definitely jumping between a couple of different scales here. Just like the monkey throwing darts at a dartboard in me tells me that, okay, maybe it's diminished, but maybe it's some version of harmonic minor or some like harmonic major kind of hybrid thing going on here. Either way, these note choices are not very intuitive to me. So whenever I hear the unique melodies that are coming through her vocals, coming through the guitar's riffs, it's super alluring. It's super tantalizing to me, honestly. I I don't know how you come up with music like this because I feel like you could almost make an argument that it's experimental. But if it's experimental, you kind of have this assumption that, oh, maybe it won't work out. This is definitely working out. This experiment is working, let me tell you. So good. It's so effortlessly heavy. Oh my god! <laughs> like, you get what I mean? Like, what part of the song are we in right now? Are we in like a pre-chorus? I don't think so. Are we in a bridge? Are we in a post-chorus? I don't care, I guess. It just all sounds amazing and it blends so effortlessly. Also, something that I just kind of paid attention to was when uh, the track was doubled, the main vocal line was doubled, you could hear the clean vocals as well as a layer of screaming. But because I heard that layer, I just realized pretty much two minutes into the song and there hasn't been much actual screaming, which 
is actually interesting when I <laughs> think about Ginger, but think about just metal music in general, because oftentimes people kind of lean into the scream as the crutch to make the music heavy when you can just have these sort of clean vocals here that sound beautiful, that sound haunting, and have heavy guitars underneath, have heavy drums, have heavy riffs, and that will do the damage, that will do the heavy lifting, and you can maintain this really unique dichotomy in the track itself. I mean, that's why I would say Ginger, if they don't have good music, they have some of the most unique music out there, but it also helps that it is good music. Let's carry on, shall we? Oh my god! Oh my god, these drums! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm good. I feel like I'm going to cry and not because I'm sad, but I I feel like so useless in this reaction right now. It is so beautiful. It just goes and goes and goes. Every single section of the song bleeds into the other so effortlessly. God, her screams. I need to know. I need to learn more about Ginger. Um, oftentimes when I do these reactions and I learn about artists for the first time, I'm just kind of judging them based on their sound, based on their lyrics. And Ginger is one of those bands that I feel like I want to know more of even their backstory before the music itself. I want to learn about their inspirations. I mean, this is, oh, this is truly inspired. I have no idea how to even characterize music like this. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Christ. I mean, <laughs> oh my God, Ginger just delivers every single time. Every song I've listened to from Ginger has been completely, I mean, un unbelievable, really. I think this song, I have to just, li it's just like, I, have, I say this about like a few songs where I just say like after my reaction, I just need to listen to this again to try to even understand what's going on because there was not I, there was not one point where I could comment on something intelligibly besides just saying how good it was, which is basically just echoing the basic sentiment that most of you guys would hear, uh, maybe from yourselves, your own internal monologue, or from reactors. But what else can I say? I feel like I just don't have the correct words to articulate what it is that I'm hearing here. This the like musically, there's so much happening. This is not the kind of music that 
you can easily pick up, I would say on a first listen through. I mean, this is kind of what I'm uh, echoing now, but bands like this, like Dream Theater, like that take more progressive angles towards their music writing. You can't easily even put their songs into a specific formula. The song structure, it, it's basically, I don't even know if there's one repeated section other than the the chorus and maybe one of the pre-choruses there. If it is a pre-chorus or chorus. Yeah, I need to listen to more Ginger to try to understand. I wonder in the comment section, let me know, what do you guys feel about Ginger? How do you characterize Ginger? What do you think about when you're listening to their music? Do you pick up every note? Do you figure out what they're doing that makes their music so interesting? I'm curious to hear your perspective because I'm honestly having a hard time figuring out what it is that makes their music just pop, just really stand out and be as unique as it is, as well as good. I mean, there's uniqueness for the sake of itself. Uniqueness is not enough. It's not enough for longevity. You need to be both unique and good, to put it as uh, naively as possible. And yeah, Ginger just has that in spades. So thank you very much for this recommendation. And uh, please leave me some more in those comments section down below. I'd appreciate that. I'd also appreciate a subscription if you enjoyed my reaction. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Take care and peace.